Hi, my name is Pete Newell and this little film is about how, perhaps why, I make the paintings that are being exhibited at the Lime Tree Gallery at the moment. Uh, all my paintings start with sketchbook work. I carry a sketchbook all the time and I make quite either very quick drawings for something that's caught my eye. And what catches my eye is I'm, I'm very influenced and has always been influenced by very modernist abstract ideas. So I'm looking for large shapes that form a dynamic composition within the picture plane. And so this is the drawing of the bee at Bristol. And um, what caught my eye was, the, was the, the ship in profile, the silhouette, played off against the reflections. And even at that early stage, I found I was interested in the proportion of that water to the ship to make that abstract competition, composition. And within those abstract compositions, they then become the platform for me to add further detail. Sometimes the drawings take longer time, and I'm looking for more detail and get more interested in, in that drawing process and capturing more detail. And then once all that's done, I then bring them back to the studio and start to work on much larger drawings. This is the, the, the Matthew and the Bee. Um, moored just outside the M shed and I was standing um, just behind one of the cranes on the quay at Bristol and looking down and seeing the contrast between the two ships and again halfway down we've got a lot of water which I wanted to capture played off against the top half which has got a lot more detail so you get that contrast between the busyness of the top part of the painting and the smoothness and calmness of the water underneath and the reflections. The MS Oldenburg, which was more than a bit of a key, um, there was a huge puddle, this was just before Christmas when we had a lot of rain, making this wonderful reflection of a very moody sky and uh, the detail of the Oldenburg captured in that reflection. And again, it's a strong dynamic perspective piercing into the, into the painting. Once I've started to think about the paintings and what I want to do, I have also taken photographs on site of various details. And this was a, a, a sketch I'd done for uh, Strange Light and using quite crude felt tip pens to get the rippling effect and again to start to work out that half and half composition which has got a dynamic uh, top half um, with interest and detail and then all that series of reflections so this becomes almost an abstract painting in two halves as I say for a platform of the detail. I always try to challenge myself in each painting and sometimes the paintings require uh, tryouts before I actually embark on the painting. So here we've got a couple of pages of tryouts for um, water textures to try and capture that sense of ripples and, 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 and different effects. Um, I started this style of painting about five years ago, uh, corresponding with my move to um, an estuary, West Country estuary in Biddeford. And, um, became completely enamoured with the ships on the quayside and also their previous histories. Each one of the ships here had um, earlier histories, earlier life of tugs and working boats and have now be either been houseboats or being renovated for other purposes. And I found that very fascinating, the, the previous histories. And equally when I go to Bristol, um, the ships in the, in the quay and in the harbour that have that similar past histories, they've been transformed into cafes, into working boats, into tourist destinations. And I find that as a subject matter fascinating. Um, I was very influenced and found a kinship with uh, the American cool modernists that were shown as an exhibition in Oxford in 2018. People like Edward Hopper, Charles DeMuth and Charles Sheeler. And I found a kinship with those artists in the theories that they were, they were putting forward in, in their paintings influenced by the abstract expressionism and modernism that was going on at the same time as they were working, but also then um, implanting detail over the top of that to construct the narrative they wanted. And that reinforced my ideas about strong composition, as I say, almost abstract in its uh, early inception, overlaid with detail. And that's how I work.